What you do with my hat? Oh, got a hat. <clears throat> Whew, here we go. All right, boys and girls. You may recall that I was telling you last time when you tuned in that I had ordered some replacement lenses for my Smith Optic sunglasses because the price of sunglasses amounts now to nothing more than corporate greed, in my opinion. So I'm having a big problem with this. 200 250 300 now for a pair of sunglasses. So I found this company. They hit me on uh, Instagram, Fuse, uh, FuseLenses.com. And... They must be reading my mind because I didn't say anything. And I always have my my thing, my voice listening thing turned off on my phone. I don't know how they knew. Anyway, I went and looked. <clears throat> on FuseOptics.com, they have a whole bunch of frames that um, they fit lenses to. They are not the original lenses. They are fused lenses. They're polarized. Some of them, and there's options for more vivid. That, there's not many options at all, actually. Um, when it gets right down to some of these really old frames like I have. The frame I have, I just love this freaking frame, man. This is, uh, this is called Forge, Smith Optics Forge. And as you recall me telling you the story about these, I had them for... A couple weeks and my eyes start hurting. I look in these. I mean, I'm a photographer by trade, so eyes are everything. Look in there, and there's a delamination line going straight across, two of them on one side. And I was like, oh, man. Uh, got no help from Smith. You know, Smith makes great stuff. Customer service? Mm, yee, yee. I don't know. Combined customer service yee, yee, with price, doo, 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 and you got a problem. So I ordered, I went out on a, I just love this frame because I can find it because of the color on the side. Um, and I carry a lot of sunglasses because of uh, a lot of different lenses on them. So three days later after I ordered, in comes a FedEx package. Inside the package falls out. Now, if you're a wino, you're going to love this. A hundred dollar wine uh, voucher. Whatever the hell that means. I don't know. But anyway, voucher, wine, hundred bucks. Fuse lenses sticker. These guys are out of Florida. Clear water, Florida. Clear, get it clear. Yeah. Clear water, Florida. Fuse. And of course, their postcard fuse sunglasses. And they do sell sunglasses too. Don't forget, they sell sunglasses too. The thing is, is... We got to try the lenses before we start buying frames from these guys. Um, and the odds are that I'll just pick about a half a dozen pairs I've got here with their lenses. There you go. There's a QR code on there, folks. If you can get that QR code, I don't know, but try it. There's that. And enjoy all that stuff, guys, because it's not going to be around forever. You know how it is with these companies. They start off giving you the all oh, this great stuff. And you end up with a, a bubble wrap uh, envelope with just nothing, <laughs> just almost nothing inside. Right now, though, it's the Golden Age Fuse lenses. Look at this case that these came in. Oh, my gosh. I wonder how much they spent on the case alone. The case is worth the price of admission, people. Look at this. Whoop, whoop. Is that fancy or what? It's not going to hold anything. Well, I guess uh, it would hold something, but nothing I use. Um, nicely done. Oh, oh, let's turn it this way. Fuse. And on the top, I, look at there. I think, what is this? Let's see what this is. Maybe it's a, it is a, <laughs> this will hold your sunglasses once you put your new lenses on. All right, guys. And here are my lenses separately wrapped together. Boing, boing. And I can see through them right now with the light I have that they are brown base. The lenses I'm replacing are gray base. I've, I've always known this because they were kind of like my, my casual drivers. And I don't know, very bright, like ocean light bright. But now we're making a change just so we can salvage these perfectly fine, perfectly almost new frames to get your lenses out you gotta have a lens cloth people get your lens cloth push out from the back to the front 
just like that. Just pop them out. You know, you need to be able to do this on your sunglasses anyway. Assuming you got sunglasses that you can do this to, don't be stupid. And clean the edges because if you don't clean the edges of your lenses every once in a while, like every year, something like that, you know, well, having his grit will get in there and grind down the frame, and then they'll they'll just they'll just come loose on their own. So you can see now really clearly that that's a gray base. Let's take a look at the brown base compared to the gray base. The brown base being the fuse, the gray base being the Smith Optics. You know, we're not going to know anything until we get on the water, guys. I mean, that's just how this works. But anyway. There's the fronts. Ooh, man, they look almost identical, but there's the backs. Very different. Very, very different. Much more light coming through the brown base of the fuse lenses. All right, that's one. We got one out. All right, let's get the other one out. I'm just so excited about this. I can't hardly contain myself. The frames for Smith are good frames, people regardless and some of these you know this is maybe old enough frame to be made in france or italy or something like that it's maybe that old i don't know where it's made but oh what a great pair of sunglasses except for the original lenses which had a factory defect it is what it is man i just gotta get these going again okay coming out coming out coming out the front side Whoa. Ooh, do i care about this lens no just you don't need a cloth for that what am i thinking just get them off. Just get them off. Ah, there we go. Gone. Done. Over. Goodbye. Okay. Now, let's put the new lenses in with cloth. With I use these from Walmart, people. If you got a better one, it's not a Walmart special. It's not made by Walmart. Zeiss. Whenever you see the Zeiss name, you're in good shape. You're, you're in the right place. If you see Zeiss, you know it's nice. All right, let's take it from a photographer, why don't you? All right, got it kind of positioned in here, using that cloth. Ding, ding, dong, dong. Ooh, doo, 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 da, da. And bing, bang, boom. Bada bing, boom, bing. Bing, bing, bing. No, yeah, no, yeah. Okay, let's see which side we're on. <laughs> this, this is hard to recognize under pressure. There she blows, the lefty. She's laying to the left. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Come on, baby. Come on now. You know, if it was easy, they would fall out, folks. So we don't want that, do we? Once we're in, we're like Flynn. Okay, we are in like Flynn on the first left. Clean it off. Take care of your sunglasses, people. They're expensive. I don't care. If you got the great $300 sunglasses and you are a... Uh, <clears throat> not in the trouble I am in with bad lenses. Take care of your lenses. It's very important. So here we go. Number two going on, going on in the front. Goes in the front, out the front. Simple, simple, simple math there for you math fiends. Unlike me, I'm not one of those. There we go. On. <clears throat> right here. Well, I have a new pair of sunglasses. What do you have? Guess what they cost? $40. That's a $40 pair of Smith. Now, as I look at you guys with these new lenses, I can see the polarization kicking in. I'm using Insta Ace Pro, my favorite ass camera in the world right now, except for my professional cameras. <laughs> my favorite amateur camera in the world right there. And it has a major uh, flaw in that when you have polarized glasses, you can't see the lens. I, you know, you knew that. But, I mean, you can't see the lens. You can't see the, you can't see the screen. Um, but I know that the polarization on Smith, because I wear Smith's and I shoot with this camera on the, on the boat, the polarization is more thorough on the Smith optics lenses because I could turn my head to the left and the right with these and I can see the screen. I can do that all day long with Smith, never see the screen. Same thing with hook and bullet. Hook and bullet is a step above Smith, a major step above Smith as far as lenses, Zeiss. And uh, you can turn all day long and you will never see that screen on the Insta Ace Pro. 
All right, guys, that's it. I'd say for 40 bucks, I'm back in business. I got one more pair of sunglasses in my arsenal of sunglasses. You need more than one pair of sunglasses if you're a serious fly fisher and you're sight casting. If you're blind casting and fan casting and blah, blah, you don't need it. But except for eye protection, I've, I've been hit on a lens with, with flies from other people before. It happens. I mean, I hit, get hit on the glasses, saved my eyeball. I think uh, I like I still like having vision. I don't know why, but I still like to be able to see what I'm doing. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. www.texasflycaster.com. Man, now that I've got this set up here, I'm kind of digging it, and you're gonna see more videos just pop on uh, in a randomness of epic proportions. See you next time on Texas Flycaster YouTube channel, or go to the website, learn how to read some good stuff.